guys, today's video is probably one of my favorite DIY projects that I have done to date. Um, so I'm super excited to share with you what it is, sneak peek right here. <laughs> um, but basically I just had this huge giant wall in my living room that I didn't really know what to do with. Um, so I decided to make a six foot long chalkboard and it's seriously so easy to make. I made it all for under $30, which I think is really good. Um, and I just am in love with how it turned out and I'm so, so excited to put it on my wall and to use it. Um, so hopefully you guys will like it. Um, maybe you have a wall that you don't know what to do with. Make a chalkboard because it's seriously awesome and I'm just so, so excited about it. Um, so in this video I'm going to show you um, the materials that I got to make it and just kind of the process. It's really simple, you could probably figure it out, but I filmed it anyway because it's fun to make videos and it just turned out really well. So let's get on with the video. So here is my big giant empty wall that we're going to hang the chalkboard on. Basically we just went to Home Depot and got some plywood and had them cut it six feet in length and I think it's about a fourth of an inch thick. Um, and really we should have painted this in the garage or something but we just laid it down on some cardboard instead. We also bought the paint at Home Depot, just this chalkboard paint and what's really cool about it is you can pick the color. And so instead of jet black, I went for a darker gray, which I think is cool. And we picked up a foam roller, and basically you just paint the whole piece of wood. Um, I did it a few coats just to make sure it was completely covered, um, but it's really easy to do. Just get <laughs> poured in a tray and have fun painting for like 20 minutes. going to let it dry for like three days I think the instruction says um, before really you should write on it so we just left it here and it just dried perfectly the next step is to take some chalk and before you really start writing on it you're supposed to um, condition the board so you're just supposed to run a piece of chalk over the whole thing let it sit like that for a few minutes I think um, and then you just take a rag and wipe it off and what this does is it um, leaves a coat of chalk dust on it which I guess is supposed to help the chalkboard erase more easier um, once you actually start writing on it and now you have a chalkboard it's done and you can write whatever you want to does this happen to anybody else? I always break everything I write with, crayons or chalk. I think I just press down too hard, but I, I mean, it always happens to me. It's the worst. Um, but there is your chalkboard. So that was my DIY giant chalkboard video. If you liked it, give the video a thumbs up. And if you have a giant wall that you don't know what to do with, make one of these because I'm seriously so, so excited about this. We need to still figure out how we're gonna actually hang it on the wall, um, but that won't be a problem. But I'm seriously so excited, I'm so happy with how it turned out, and it was just really fun to make. So thanks so much for watching, bye. Oh, and you should subscribe to my channel if you want to see more DIYs or just what other videos I make. That would be awesome. Okay, bye.